I was given this game for free by the developers for promotional purposes and stuff like that. However, I will not let that impact my decision or my opinion about the game. I am simply here to experience it with you guys. I will still criticize it and I will still give it positives. I have no affiliation with the developers. I was simply given this for free. No payments, no nothing. Just a free copy. Good? Good. <laughs> sell it stream. No, it's not a sell. I swear it's not a sell it stream. I just actually wanted to check this game out myself. And then they approached me and were like, hey, we can give it to you for free. And I was like, ah, oh, that's kind of perfect. I had this on my wish list. <laughs> it just kind of worked out. I swear. <laughs> no. No. You guys see the text? Okay, yes, you can. Ed Miller, Everyone photographer. Must pay. <laughs> oh, please. Please, please, please. please stop. I, I, I'll do anything. I, I don't want to die. die. Ed. Ed. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I have full arms. Oh, that's awesome. All right, sweet. Broken watch. Okay, I, I originally played with only floating hands. I didn't even know there was an arms option, but I'm really glad I chose it because that looks a lot cooler. Although I feel a little slow. Can I run? I can run. Okay. So, you're the photographer. Welcome to Crazyville. Hi. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So it's the same way of Half-Life Alex, where you fling stuff to you. Oh my god, they fixed it! Holy shit, they finally fixed it. Okay, so I played the game before it got an update. Oh god, no, it's back. For some reason, you have to fling really hard for it to actually register a fling. Like, if I do it softly like this, it just refuses to do it. This is like, no, nope, you're not doing it hard enough. So you have to go, yeah! That's gonna be, probably be a little bit annoying. Especially because I'm playing on index and I have to constantly hold my grip to do that. Also, is the audio too loud? I hope this audio isn't too loud. Let me know if it's too loud. I wish there was a setting for it. Crouch, that's good. Need to put effort into it. Eat the rock. Why would I eat a rock? Is the audio too loud? That's the first thing I should always ask in streams. Is the audio too loud? Can you hear me all right? Do I have to turn it down? You're blind. Or just ignorant. You have a talent, boy. Your camera sees things. Things the rest of us only dream about. Hey, Lemilka. First edition stream I ever made. Awesome. It's fine. It's a little loud. It seems like it's bordering right on the edge. Hold on. How do I open my menu in here? Yep, just sprint. It's a good rock. Full of, full of vitamins. Copper. Access comfort options. Controls. I don't need comfort. Who do you think I am? I'm an addition, damn it. Put me in a tumbler. I don't care. Who needs comfort? Okay, everyone. Close your eyes. And open your minds. Open yourself up to the spirit world. We're in the spirit world. There we go. <laughs> We're in now, boys. Alright. Uh, yep, yeah, I do remember this part, definitely. I'll sh so people actually live like this? So much for showing the truth about LA nightlife, Mr. Fancy Photographer. <sighs> Maybe it's time for some truths about the rich and famous. All the debauchery you can stomach, but with the edges filed off. I'm not so sure about those edges. Anyway, if it pays the bills. Okay, let's see what this billionaire nutjob wants from us. I was just multiplayer.
Bye. I will say, for one originally being a quest game, there is physics, or like player collision, and it works pretty well, I gotta say. Although if you do it too fast, your hands can kind of just go through it, as you can see here. But then again, most likely you're not gonna do that anyway. Works pretty good. I was a little surprised to hear this was a quest game initially. Although sometimes, every once in a while you can see like, ah, oh, I can kind of see it, you know? This looks nice though. Posture check. Hey, you didn't redeem posture check, doesn't count. The cast grows. Are you also here to bask in the glory of Howard Barkley? Not that he's here to beat you. Don't worry. He's gooped up in his sick room and will probably not die before giving you a proper welcome. So, you're the photographer. It's me. Welcome to Crazyville. Hi! We Meet just... the rest of the cast. Tom Shepard, purveyor of expensive shit and know-it-all asshole. Hi! Uh, glad you could make it. And let's not forget the queen of mediocrity, Miss Medium Walters. <laughs> it's Meadow, actually. Nice to meet you. You're here to photograph the seance, right? Yeah. We're just here for a couple of days. Like the rest of us, honey. Just like the rest of us. And then... You know how the song goes, right? Ed is dead. Welcome to the afterlife. And one of these doors opens. There we go. Hit the globe. Game saved. Ta-da. And then, you use this. See how my... You feel it? The energy coursing through you. You're different now. You're different Your senses now. are more divine. Sharper. You're a Hanzo main. So, so, this is the cool little like gimmick of the game. Instead of the game telling you where to go, like a flag or just an icon, you have to do this, use your power, and then point your hand in a direction, and it will vibrate. I can feel it vibrate. You guys can't probably feel that. <laughs> but it will also glow my hand when you're in the right, like when you're looking at the right direction. So you have to follow your vibrating hand. See, it's really weak here. Nothing's happening. And very hot. Very hot, so this is probably the right way to go. You can hear a heartbeat too. I thought that was really cool, you know? <laughs> it's kind of a unique way. I've never really seen a game do this before. So we'll be doing that a lot. This right here is where I quit the game. And you know why? Because I was scared. Look at that fucking hallway. If that doesn't look like a hallway of death, I don't know what does. That looks fucking terrifying, doesn't it? Jesus Christ. Ominous. It's very fucking ominous. Cool. Wait. How come there's a black thing on the wall when I activate my power? You see that? Where am I meant to go? That was great, by the way. Uh, it's been a while since we talked. Okay, I have to go that way. But uh, I imagine she's doing fine. I haven't heard anything negative. Oh, I thought I could just put my hands through it, but... Box? Nope. Um, I, I don't know what they want me to do with this box. Okay, um, uh, uh, 
Okay, I feel like the game hasn't taught me something yet. <laughs> oh, I see. Now I can open this door, huh? Bitch, don't scare me like that. It's really loud in there. I like the darkening effect. See that? How it like goes brighter as you open it. I think they do that for, for performance reasons. But yeah. That makes the game a little scarier. They're using a disadvantage of the quest, the fact that it can't render a ton of a time. So they added a fog, fog effect like Morrowind. Which actually ironically makes it more terrifying, which works because it's a horror game. That's what they did back in the day with old games too, and it worked pretty damn well. I don't like this. I don't like that there's a closet that looks like I can hide in. Oh god, why can I do this? We're gonna encounter an enemy soon, aren't we? I mean, they even put bottles here that you can throw as a distraction. Oh, there's glass on them. How? I thought I'm a ghost. How can I... Isn't the gradient in between more intensive on hardware there? Uh... The gradient in between more intensive on hardware. I don't believe so. Fuck. I think it's better just to have a gradient. Instead of trying to render more things. Oh, there's fucking glass that scares me every time. God damn it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know a little bit about... Yeah, you wouldn't believe the size of this place. It's crazy. And the people? You'll never guess who I just talked to. Okay, good guess. Isn't that cool, though? Anyway, I gotta go. Time to mingle, say hello to people. I'm not too comfortable with that part yet. Talk later. Is that my wife? Is that the same person or is this a different person? Well, I assume that's the wife. I don't actually know if that was his wife or not. Maybe just a friend. Friend with. So, what what, that scares me. Specifically, I like the uh, artists that show it as it is. Reality. You know? He likes naked people. Yes. Reality. It always finds a way to disappoint you. Other stuff too. I've got great connections. Great connections. That is so sketchy. That is so sketchy. That guy, I think he's a pedo. I'm just gonna call it now. He's a weirdo pedo. Just the way that he said that. Don't trust him. Mm -mm. They gave this to me. I don't know what to do with it. But it's the time compass from our movie. I would love to be able to keep something, anything, from this shoot. You know what? I think you should have it. What? No. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. It's yours. Mm. That's scary when she just appeared. Dude, it scares me every time because I'm just like slowly expecting a monster and whoosh dialogue and it scares the fuck out of me. And it's not even meant to be scary, it's just dialogue. I feel like that's me just being a scared little bitch, though. Oh, hello. Let's open this up. We'll probably have... Nope. Eh. I can't do anything with those things. I think I'm gonna get some kind of power to do that, don't I think, you know? It really seems like they're hyping up this power I'm about to get that lets me move objects. So I'm looking forward to it. I will say, even when I'm sprinting, I feel really slow. I feel like this right here, my sprinting speed, should just be the default. Or better yet, uh, a lot of VR games and the options have something called auto sprint. You just select that and then you're always sprinting, no matter what. Instead of having to click in your stick. I really hope the developers listen to this and see this and say, Hey, developers, you gave me a key, you want feedback? Put in an option for auto sprint, so sprint is always active and I don't have to click in the stick. And I will love you forever. I think a lot of people will like that. Alright. There, I'm using my influencer powers to make stuff happen. 
I will send it to them personally. I will email them and be like, yo, I got clout, put in auto sprint. <laughs> and then I will tweet about it when they do. Oh. I met this lovely lady Library key. earlier. You should meet her too. I think I know who you're talking about. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I bet you did. Let's talk more in the library. Less people there to listen in. Go get the key from the service staff. Should be on one of the bar carts. Bar carts. Got it. What's with this fucking music all of a sudden? Uh, All you had to do was to see me. Hello. How you doing? Dad. I'm not your dad. Um... I am so alone. Good for you. Where the fuck is this key? Good for you. Did he say I'm hung? I think he said I'm alone. I don't know where he got hung from. <gasps> There's the key. Ah, oh, shit. He's gonna probably chase me if I grab this. Add to inventory. Oh, that's neat. Okay. I know he's gonna do it. I know he's gonna do it. All right, fine. I'll go out there. I know you guys are probably already typing. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck, he's gone. Fuck me. I don't like this. 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 Have I said how much I don't like this? Because I don't like this. Bunching on bangers. Good for you. But I don't like this. Have I mentioned how I don't like this? Because I don't like this. Oh, thank you. Hey, Tanky Call. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like... I don't... I don't like this. Why did she move over there? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. All you had to do was to see me. Father. I don't I don't I don't like this. Hi. Make it stop. Please speak to me, Dad. Please. Look over there. Please speak to me, Father. Look over there. I don't want you looking at me, bitch. Look over there. Ah, oh, you creepy. Fu Look over there, please. Turn around. Come on, turn around. No, 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 no. 
Yep, still need to go over there. I am so alone. Hi. You're not gonna do anything, are you? I don't want to walk past you. You're as creepy fuck. <laughs> I really don't know. Can I not do anything? I'm so alone. Shut up. All right, we're manning up. Um, all right, cool. He didn't do anything. Oh, wait, do I have to? That is, that's actually a neat way of doing inventory. Um, oh, there it is. Like, you don't really have a inventory, quote-unquote. It just puts it, like, in a picture frame, and then the picture frame appears when you need it. Why is there roots coming out of there? Why is it so fucking dark? In the role as your agent, your interests are always first and foremost in my mind. I cannot stress this enough. This is precisely why I ask you now to drop this. You may not see it directly, I know just to feel cloud one's adjustment, but believe me when I tell you that this is in your own interest. Yes, Alan may have behaved inappropriately on the time storm set, although you must admit that spending time alone with him in this trailer perhaps was stretching your luck a bit. And yes, he probably deserves to be put in trial for that, but in reality, he's famous and ri he's a famous and rich man, and you can imagine how that one would go. They'll let him out with a slap on the wrist. Instead, think of your own career and what public scandal could do to your image. I'm telling you, just drop it. Lucas Freyd Freyden. Okay. So I think that little, that sleazy guy who gave the, the watch to the lady definitely did some sleazy stuff to her. Um... But she can't really sue him because he's rich and famous and it's just gonna backfire on her. Okay, Mr. Barclay, the new alarm systems are not functional in the library. Your, pre your precious books are safe. The door can be locked, unlocked from the terminal in your panic room or the one in the library. The temporary code is 1379. Okay, 1379. Someone remember 1379 for me because I will forget. <laughs> I will love you forever. This is just a normal book. I feel like this needs a toggle grip. Are you... Yep, you definitely are. Ooh, the shadow makes that extra creepy. You know? What is Gray's Twitch? Isn't it just Gray VR? Why did you po stop posting vids on your second YouTube video? I didn't necessarily stop, it's just on hold because making videos for Madnet takes a really long time. And after my channels got hacked, I kind of lost motivation. Alright. Balls mode on. What the fuck? Uh... The hell? It's like a Simon Says kind of thing. But he's still hanging. So it seems like that's all he can do. Okay, okay. You using password manager? Yeah, I'm using all that stuff. All right, let's see if I can go. Stop looking at me, stop looking at me. Oh wait, there's the keypad, I see it. How am I supposed to... Damn train, CJ. Oh shit, that worked. Okay, guys, what was the password again? Because I completely forgot. Hello, Zawari. Oh, 
1379. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, it says it right there. Music, please stop already. Hold on. I feel like I need to turn that down. That is a little loud. Oh, that's a shortcut. It's a Dark Souls shortcut. Okay. I feel like I'm going to turn down just even further. Uh, guys, he's gone. Okay. I have a guess to what the new Mad Nat's gonna be about? What? What? Alright, give me your best shot. What's your guess? Let's see if you're right. I will legit tell you if you're right. Ooh, save! Save, save, save! I can save! Great Twitch is not Twitch Graveyard. Oh, shit. The greatest grind in the world. What is that even supposed to mean, greatest grind? I mean World of Warcraft or something? Oh shit, I can't actually save here. It's covered in plants. Huh. Whoa, 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 you can't just drop that. Move slowly and quietly so the specter st- Okay, shh. Hit. Alright, so I think that's the spirits they were talking about. I, I think. I can't tell if that's a power-up or an enemy. <laughs> you know what? The only reason I'm playing this game is because I'm streaming it. Because if I was in my room alone playing this, I would have not made it past that dark hallway. I do become a little wussy puss when it comes to playing games on my own. Being able to talk to people and look at chat and like have a sort of conversation makes it easier. Uh, it makes it easier to, to like play horror games for me, you know? Because then I know at least when I get scared, some people can laugh at me. <laughs> That's the silver lining. Touch it. Hello. All right, ballsy mode. What is this? Um. Okay, so I don't know what that really is. All right, guys, that's not an enemy. Confirmed. Ah, uh, it bugged out. Wait, well, since you know this game, was that actually an enemy, or was that... Where was it, was it not? I'm actually curious. If you say it bugged out, then... So that might have legit been an enemy. Hello. You were the guy that said come find me, wasn't you? Give me one second, I'll be right with you. I don't know why I'm whispering. The game can't hear me anyway. <laughs> Is that really a collectible? Okay, that seems... Yeah, now that it's here on a table, it does seem like a collectible. Question is, how do I collect the collectible? Hello? Collectible? Do I have to... 
New goal. Use your sharpened senses to find the voice in your head. Yeah, well, I know you want me to go towards that little direction over there. How do I collect this? The texts say that the dead call this plane the Skinlands. Highly amusing. Unfortunately, the author fails to name the plane the dead move on, but he does write some about how it works. In a way, it's a mirror of our world, but objects linger, and buildings that have gone for generations might still exist over there. Our world and theirs is separated by the Shroud. One thing I'm certain of, the dead have a flair for melodrama. The author claims crossing between the planes is dangerous but possible. Of course, he next will mention how. I must search harder. My time is running out. What's the matter? Don't you recognize yourself? Wait, that's me? You feel it too, don't you? Like your speech. Right down the center. I don't like it any more than you do. Honestly, if I'd known that this would happen when I died. So that's me. Nad, you look pretty, right? Yeah. You press to photograph. Oh, I think this is how I pick up the collectibles. To collect, to photograph discarded memories. Accessible for me quickly, press A to open. Oh shit. All right, sweet, I do have an inventory. Oh. Ooh. That is neat. No, where are you going, me? Alright, goodbye. <laughs>